Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1544. Hey, we want to see how to filter between the text numbers 60,000 to 99999. Actually, this is in response to an amazingly awesome Mr. Excel video that he posted yesterday. Here's the link. The link is also below in the comments. And you got to read the comments because there are some cool solutions. So really, this is going to be like a virtual duel. And I want to show you how to use the amazing filter dynamic array function. Now, the filter function is one of the new array functions in Office 365 Insider. Microsoft is still trying to work out the bugs so it can release these amazing new functions to everyone who has Office 365. All right, let's go over to 1544. Here's our data set and their account numbers that are text. And we'll assume we have to leave them as text. Well, since there's a lower and upper limit, and these are text values, for the formula, I'm going to enter the lower and upper limit, but with a lead apostrophe. Tab. Ah, we get our visual cue. That's a line to the left. That means Excel thinks it's text, which will allow us to match lower text to any of the text items here. The upper limit, apostrophe 99999, and Enter. Those are the records we're trying to extract. Now here it is, equals filter. The array, well, I'm going to try and get the entire data set, so I simply highlight it. Now wait a second, I'm going to have to copy this formula down. Or the correct term is, it's automatically going to spill down because it's one of these new dynamic arrays. So guess what? I don't have to lock that range. I simply put the entire table, just like we'd have the entire table if we were using the drop downs for filter. Filter function is going to need the full table, comma. Now the include argument requires that you can construct a logical test on an entire column. Now I'm going to put in parentheses, highlight the whole column. And since that's the lower limit, I have to ask, hey, anything in that range right there, are you greater than or equal to the lower limit? Now I close parentheses. Now we could highlight this entire Boolean logical test and hit the F9 key. We get a series of trues and falses. True, true means it found those two records. Now that's the first set of trues and falses, Control-Z. I have to use multiplication. When I use multiplication in a logical test or a Boolean array formula like we're doing here, that means an AND logical test. Remember, we have two conditions for each account number. Are you simultaneously greater than or equal to the lower and less than or equal to the upper? Open parentheses. Highlight the column. And now I have to ask of all of those, are any of you less than or equal to the upper limit? Close parentheses. Close parentheses on filter. And now, only when there's a true here in the same position and a true over here will there be a resultant true that tells filter, I need that record. So when I hit Enter, Oh, wait a second. These are the new dynamic arrays. It simply spills the correct number of records, and it gets better. If I come up here and type 75000 and Enter, I get a calc error because why? That's a number. Now I come up here, add a lead apostrophe. That is amazing. Now something important about these new dynamic array functions, if I click in the cell where I created the formula, I can see up in the formula bar. But if I hit Enter, oh, it's grayed out. If I arrow to the side or arrow up, all of the spilled results are grayed out. That means those formulas don't actually live in those cells. Now you can refer to those spilled results in other formulas, but if you want to edit the formula, you have to come up to the original cell. Now F2, get this, here's what we did. Those are text values, and we compared it to a text value. Text and text will work. Number and number would work also. So if you don't like typing those lead apostrophes in, watch this, I'm going to totally cheat. Control C, Escape, come over here. F2, Control V, and I'm going to move the formula input cell. And you can see I've entered these over here as numbers. Of course, when I hit Enter, 
text numbers will not match up, so I get calc F2. But what do I need to do? Number, number? Any math operation performed on text numbers that doesn't actually change the value will convert them to numbers. So I'm going to do plus 0. You could do times 1, divide by 1, double negative. So plus 0. Now we could prove this to ourselves. Highlight an F9. Oh, yes, those are numbers. I do not see the double quotes around it, so I know it's a number. Control Z. Now when I hit Enter, now I'm comparing number internally to a number where I've converted all of these to numbers using plus 0. Now I'm going to change this lead apostrophe and Enter. Looks like everything is working. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun and Mr. Excel. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank you.